Hello my beautiful Aries and welcome to your love reading. Thank you all, thank you to those who like, share, comment and support the channel or book readings with me. I really appreciate you. For anything else, you know, you can look in my description box, okay. Please remember the energies in the readings can go vice versa. So only take what resonates and switch the genders and the roles how you see fit, okay. So this is for my beautiful Aries. So we're going to see... Um, you know, what's the overall energy, what is coming towards you in love? Okay, beautiful. We have the perfect match that wanted to come out, which reads divine, pairing, irreplaceable and crazy in love. Okay, gorgeous Aries. And at the bottom of that, oh, we have the subservient, which reads dominant submission and control. Okay, so for some of you, I feel like you have your eye on someone. It's exactly who you want. You feel like they are your perfect match. You want to just, t you just want to take this person, okay? I feel like this is how you, because it almost looks like, you know, they're the same couple there. It's like, when you see this person, this is what you think about. You think about, listen, you're going to submit to me. You're going to do what I want. Let me take control. Let me just, let me be your, let me be your boss daddy. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing, Aries, okay? Or vice versa. But this is somebody who you feel is perfect for you. Or someone feels like that about you, okay? I also feel like this could be somebody that the divine paired you with. So you could be dealing with your opposite energy or you just see someone as your empress or someone sees you as their emperor or vice versa, okay? But I feel like you want someone to submit to you or you want to submit to how you feel, okay? Somebody also could be very controlling and possessive over you as well, okay? But Because I'm just hearing like you're mine, okay? Or somebody wants to make you theirs. So let's just see where this is going. So this is for my beautiful Aries. Okay, so we have um, the Emperor of Wisdom. Could be dealing with an Aquarius or a water sign. We have um, the Empress of Emotion. So it could be dealing with a Pisces, but Cancer, you know, or a Scorpio. Okay, so somebody, I feel like someone is in love with you, but they kind of, they're good at hiding it, okay? But I feel like this is all this person can think about. I also feel like somebody has mastered love or they have mastered their emotions or someone thinks that you are very sweet you are very kind you're very compassionate you're just overflowing with a lot of like loving energy someone also feels like you're very intuitive as well or this is how you're feeling but i feel like you're trying to figure out how you can express your love to someone because you just feel like they are perfect for you or like i said this is how someone is feeling about you this could be someone like i said who's acting quite cold I feel like you don't really know what's on this person's mind, but this is what they're thinking, okay? So this is someone who has, like, a good poker face. So they have been thinking about you a lot. Now, this person also feels like you are very intelligent, okay? Very, very intelligent, okay? So this may turn this person on, how intelligent you are, okay? So this could be somebody from your past with the Charitas and the... um six of emotions here and then the star okay so definitely could be dealing with an aquarius i feel like someone finds you very inspiring they want to restore the connection if this is someone who you're not currently with they don't want you to move on or somebody's moving towards you okay somebody could drive for a living as well but i feel like someone is driving towards you they they see abundance in their future with you now for some of you you could have children with this person but it does not have to be okay but yeah this person is definitely watching you they may feel like bad or guilty about something but either way Someone just thinks like, wow, you are so amazing, okay? That's how they feel. So they want to return. So like I said, somebody's thinking about how they can get you back. That's kind of what I'm getting here. Because like I said, I feel like someone feels like you are perfect for them, okay? You know, with this energy here. So, I mean, I don't feel like I need to clarify, but let's just clarify the Emperor of Wisdom. So maybe somebody's like very nostalgic, they're reflecting back to old times. Yeah, the page of one, someone's got some kind of that like confirmation that you are theirs or that they need to be with you. But I feel like somebody wants to send you a very fiery and passionate message. Okay, this could be you as well. This is your energy. Aries, I think I'm reading for. Yes, sorry, I almost forgot there. Yeah, and then we have the temperance at the bottom of the deck. Could be dealing with the Sagittarius. So I feel like there's a lot going on around this connection or there's a lot that's on your mind. But, you know, it's almost like you see someone as your baby, like you want to protect them. There's a lot of turbulence, snakes and everything. 
Because somebody's just really, really innocent and just, you know, like, yeah, really sweet and innocent like a child. So you see someone is like your baby or someone sees you like that. Yeah, the king of cups, you know, the three of cups there. So you want to reconcile with someone or someone wants to reconcile with you. Okay. Well, so let's just get some additional information. Yeah, we have the hermit. It says introspection, meditation, and relaxation. Could be dealing with a... Oh, Virgo. And then we have rebel. It says strong-willed, protester, non-conformist, and opposition. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's almost like... It's almost like a push and pull thing here. Or you're trying to figure out how to get someone back after kind of seeing them as your... Your op. But it's like, no, actually, this person is, you know my person so maybe someone's like hard to get or they're very strong willed like you're just it's not easy especially if you hurt someone because i feel like someone has gone into hermit mode now so you're like okay how do i speak to this person or how do i restore this okay or this is what someone is thinking about you because yeah underneath these decks we've got two cards of like watching studying and observing okay so someone is like really thinking here Okay, they're really, really thinking about a lot. How to kind of, like I said, make something right. Or someone just knows that they just have to submit to how they feel. But it's almost like he wants to say, like, listen, just get back here. Okay. So, have additional information or some advice. So, we have indulge, which reads, you deserve to be spoiled. Yeah. And at the bottom of the deck, it says creative, which says, um, don't let your talents go to waste. Could be dealing with somebody who's very creative, but I feel like someone's thinking about a creative way to get into your good books. They know that you're someone who deserves to be spoiled. Okay, so I feel like somebody just can't get enough of you with the subservient and the indulged. But somebody either wants to submit to you or they want or they know that they need to submit to the connection in order for there to be balance. Like with the rebel card, somebody needs to stop fighting how they're feeling and stop trying to go against this other person you or them or whatever okay <laughs> all right thank you so much i hope you guys enjoyed the reading i hope it resonated let me know in the comments thumbs up and subscribe bye